Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these crystal flower earrings. This video is supported by Beading School by Erika Sandor. They sent me their forest collection and the beads I'm using here are from there. Down there in the description you will find all the links to buy this stuff. As I promised, I'm giving unboxing videos and if you want to see the unboxing video of the forest collection, here it is at the eye icon to check it out. It's really beautiful and it's worth it. Okay guys, but before I start, I just want to tell you what you will get if you decide to buy from the website of Beading School by Erika Sandor. You will get 10% discount code Bijuteo for items that are not on sale. It is valid until the end of September, but don't worry, later I will give you more and more discount codes, so stay with me. And you will get worldwide shipping for free, above 75 euros. The bead boxes full of treasured in different color variations are now discounted from 75 to 52 euros. And you should know that uh, if you decide to buy them separately, you will give even more than 75 euro. That is why it's a good offer now. And you could expect new tutorials on my channel using the beads from the forest collection and these tutorials could be applied to all the other collections if you prefer different color combinations. So stay with me with this. So if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents and for yourself. Down there in description you will find the promised uh, coupon code, full list of materials, a short clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes I show the whole project and you could decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and you could also decide to subscribe there for new inspiration. So now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys and as I told you in the beginning here I'm using the beads from the forest collection that my friends from Being School by Erika Sandor sent me. These are four millimeter bicons in two colors chameleon color and light green color. They are from the forest collection that I'm linking down there and there are also delicate beads that I will also link down there. They are like green, silver color and they are 11 oz and from my own stash I use only these delicate beads that are uh, more like metallic silver color. Uh, these are liver bags, they are 17 millimeters and I will link to them down there also in description and here I also use monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use fire line or other beading thread of your choice. I use size 10 beading needle scissors and the pliers are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I forgot to tell you that you need 24 beads for, from these bicons for each earring. And now I'm going to start by picking up six of these beautiful silver metallic delica beads. Okay, and now I have six on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down. Okay, and I'm sliding those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and then I pull and I want to make one more knot here and pull again. So now guys this is what I have. I have a beautiful circle of beads here. And what I want to do next is go through some beads in this direction. Okay. Then in my next step, I'm going to pick up one bicon and then one dark silver or grayish delica bead. And I'm going to slide those down. Okay, like this. Now you see what I have. And then I will go back through this crystal and through the following seed bead. Ok, 
okay and I pull and now I attach this bead here and I'm going to repeat this take one crystal one delicate grayish bead and slide it down okay then I skip this bead go directly through the bicon and in the following seed bead okay this is what I do and I pull and I'm going to repeat these guys several more times until I finish this row okay guys and now I have this okay and what I want to do next is go through this crystal in this direction okay just like this then go through this gray delicate bit or matte silver you could call it grayish matte silver okay I'm exiting here at the edge and what I want to take is one of these light green bicon that is also four millimeters and I'm going here through the next bit that's sticking out okay then I take one more go through the following okay like this one more Okay, I'm going here one more okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay and when I'm here you see those beads pop up a little bit from this side okay and as I'm here at the edge what I want to take is I'm exiting out of this seed bead and what I want to take are two of these beautiful silver metallic beads and I go back here through this bicon and through the following seed bead and I pull okay now I have this then I'm going to repeat this take two more silvers go back here then through the bicon and through the following seed bead now I have this one more two beads go back through the crystal and through the following seed bead and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row okay guys now I have this okay and what I want to do next is go here through this silver and what I want to do is take two silvers one four millimeter bicon and two silvers chameleon bicon okay and I'm going back here in circle through those beads and my goal is to attach it here in the center and I'm going in the following 
bead okay through the crystal and through the following seed bead and I go here through this seed bead I take two silvers one bicon and two silver beads okay this is what I have here and I'm going back through these two beads in circle and when I pull I have this then I will show you one more time how I'm doing this going through this the crystal and the seed bead then through the following seed bead from the center to the outside edge take just two silvers one bicon and two silver beads okay then I go back here through this bead then through the following seed bead okay now I have this and I will show you one more time and then I'm sure you're gonna be able to do this by yourself until the end of this row I'm going here my thread is exiting here I'm taking two silvers one bicon and two silvers okay this is what I have and I'm going back through this silver here in this direction and I pull then I go back here at the bottom okay and now guys continue these two more times and I'll meet you here and I will tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I just added here my last bicon and now I'm exiting here my thread is here and what I want to do next is go through the following three beads in this direction you see I'm bending a little bit my work in order to go out of here and then I go through this crystal okay now I'm exiting in this outside row and what I want to do next is take one light silver one dark silver one light crystal one dark silver and one white silver delica okay this is what I take on my needle dark silvers are next to my white crystal and the light silvers will be next to my darker color crystals the chameleon color crystals okay now this is what I have and again light silver dark silver crystal dark silver and light silver okay here it is and I go here through the following chameleon crystal then again light silver dark silver light crystal dark silver light silver okay this is what I have and I go here in my next crystal okay guys and now repeat this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last beads from this row okay and I pull now in my next step I want to exit here through this crystal through the dark bead and here next to my chameleon crystal in the silver bead in the metallic silver bead okay now this is what I have and what I want to do next is take five silver beads okay guys and I have my five beads here and as I'm exiting after one of my silvers surrounding my crystal I want to go in the other metallic silver that is at the other side of my crystal 
then I'm going here true the following seed bead the crystal and the next two seed beads and my goal is to exit next to my chameleon crystal and I want to take five more okay I have my five here and I'm going here through all of those beads in this direction and I pull then guys I will show you one more time I'm taking five delicate beads okay I have five here okay and I go through all of those beads in this direction okay and I'm going to continue this three more times and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row okay I'm adding them and I'm going as far as possible as I can and now guys I'm going to go around this last row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire okay guys and I went around at the edge of my work and here I am now I'm exiting out of this central bead here I have two beads from here and two beads from here from the five that I added in my last step and here I'm exiting through the middle one and what I'm going to do next is attach my ear wire and because this is the place where my beads pop up you see they're popping up from this side my ear wire should be attached in this direction and how I'm doing this I'm taking two seed beads I'm taking my ear wire in this direction because I want this to be the front of my earring then I take two more seed beads and what I do is that I go back in circle through those beads okay now I have this and now I'm going to reinforce this okay and after I'm ready reinforcing I will go here at the edge I will make a knot and cut my thread and how I'm making my knot I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead and by the way you could repeat this knot several more times but when you're ready always go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread okay guys and now my bicons flower earring is ready okay guys and now my crystal flower earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and as i told you those earrings are made with beads from the forest collection of beading school by erica sandor all the materials that I'm using here are down there in description plus 10% bijouteo coupon code that you could use until the end of September. This is only for first on orders and non-discounted items. But now the collections are on sale so you could check them out and try them. Another thing I want to tell you is that down there in description there is a short clip of this video on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and there uh, you could uh, watch this whole project in only 2-3 minutes and decide if you feel like making it or not and you could also subscribe there on my second channel for new inspiration if you want to. And of course I have down there a full list of materials linked to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.